Body's falling apart. Falling apart. It's horrible. Went to the doctor to get checked out. He said, everything's really good. He goes, I do want to let you know, though, you are pre-diabetic. And I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> Who isn't, right? <laughs> Come on. Why would you even tell me that, right? Do I have diabetes? He goes, no. <laughs> but I could get diabetes? He goes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have diabetes? <laughs> he goes, no. I go, but could you get diabetes? He said, I guess so. I go, let me tell you something, you're pre-diabetic. No charge, that's on the house. Are you alive? Yeah, you're also pre-dead, sorry about that. We're all gonna die. Pre, pre-diabetes. If I have diabetes, tell me, I'll change the way I eat. What's with the pre? That's how this world operates. Pre, fear. You might, almost, you don't know. Scan, check, pre scan. What? Huh? Yeah. Everything's fear. Did you hear about Julie? No. What's the matter with Julie? She's borderline anemic. <laughs> Julie has anemia? No, she's borderline. She's close. So Julie's anemic. No, she's not anemic at all. Here's the line. If you would have anemia, you would be on this side of the line. And if you don't have anemia, you're on this side with everybody else. Julie's on this side with everybody else. She's just slightly ahead of us all, closer to the line where she would have it if she did. But she doesn't, so she's closer. She's like in the whoa, like you better watch out soon area, like maybe. <laughs> So what do you want me to do? There's nothing you can do. She doesn't have it. <laughs> then why are you telling me? I just thought you might want a little more anxiety added onto your plate with everything else that's going on in the world. <laughs> you know, just think about Julie, right? Prayers for Julie, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, how does she do it? How does she do it? How does she wake up every day to face another sunrise, trudging through the day, knowing that she almost has something that she doesn't even have? <laughs> She's so close to almost having something that even if she did, it wouldn't be that bad because she, she could clear it up with some red meat and a little B12. <laughs> but she, she almost has it, man. She's there. She's in the trenches with this. She has two kids. What does she tell them? How do they grow up knowing that they have a mother that's going to be fine? 